Here, our next example, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to set up an example of where we try to calculate the bulk modules going through an experiment. Let's say we have a container that has oil in it. We have a piston here and we apply a certain amount of force, increasing the force, until we have an increase in pressure equal to 5 times 10 to the 6 pascals. Uh, that would be about 50 atmospheres, roughly speaking. And let's say we start with an original volume of 1,000 cubic centimeters by applying this enormous amount of pressure we reduce the volume by 1.5 cubic centimeters. From that, we should be able to figure out the bulk modulus and we should be able to figure out the compressibility of this particular oil. And that's typically how we do that. All right, so let's go ahead and use our equation that the bulk modulus is equal to the force per unit area divided by the change in the volume divided by the original volume. Of course, force divided by area is pressure divided by the change in the volume over the original volume. The pressure applied was 5 times 10 to the 6th pascals and the change in the volume of the original volume is 1.5 cubic centimeters divided by original volume of 1,000 cubic centimeters. So that's the ratio of the change in the volume to the original volume. So if we go ahead and use a calculator, that gives us 5e to the 6th, that would be times 1,000 divided by 1.5 and that gives us a bulk modulus of... 3.33 uh, times 10 to the, and did I see 9? Yes, 9, and of course, what are the units? This is unitless because cubic centimeters cancel out, so it leaves us with pascals. So how does it compare to what we have here? Well, for water, we had 2.18 times 10 to the 9th. Here we have 3.33 times 10 to the 9th. So it's a little bit higher number than water, which would mean that this oil would be less compressible uh, than... Uh, water because it has a higher bulk modulus, more pressure required for the same volume change. The compressibility, K, is equal to 1 over the bulk modulus. That would be 1 over the number we just got, 3.33 times 10 to the 9th pascals. So if we take the inverse of this number, we get 3 times 10 to the minus 10. So that's 3 times 10 to the minus 10, 1 over pascals, or giving it the same kind of exponent, that would be 300 times 10 to the minus 10 pascals, or 1 over pascals, and that would then be the compressibility, which means the bigger that number, the easier, oh yes, yes, that's right, yeah, I need to convert that. Uh, so the bigger that number, the easier it is to compress the material, so it flips, it uh, slips right in here, a little bit less compressible than water, far less compressible than ethyl alcohol, but much more compressible than iron as an example. So here's a simple example to show you how to calculate the bulk modules or the compressibility of a material.